Hey guys, welcome back. Glad to have you here with me again. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, but if you own birds, this might be one of the most important videos you watch. So I highly recommend that you watch this video all the way to the end. It might very well help you save your bird's life. Now this video isn't something that I planned on doing. It just happened and I recorded it so that it could help you guys um, if it happens to you in your aviaries or to some of your birds at home. This isn't something that happens very often, but when it does, you need to act quickly because if you don't, the hen will die. This video is going to be about egg binding. I had a female that a few weeks ago I released into the aviary. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was a pair of diamond fire tails. And prior to releasing them into the aviary, I made sure that I conditioned them properly. But sometimes things go wrong and unfortunately, no matter how much we prepare these birds, you might encounter problems. This video in particular, I had to speed it up um, just because it was very long. The process of me uh, removing the egg from the female took a little bit over 30 minutes. So I, I definitely had to speed it up. It may seem like I am hurting the female in this video or it may seem like I'm moving my fingers quick uh, through her abdomen to get the egg out. But don't worry, it's just because the video is sped up. This was done very gently and very slowly. Now for you guys that are saying, why didn't you just take her to the vet? This happened on a Sunday and unfortunately here we are not under full quarantine, but a lot of the businesses are closed, including my local vet office. So I had to take action quickly because in a scenario like this one, you don't have very long. Once your hen is at the point where this one was at, if you don't act quickly, she will die. So there was a 50% chance of saving her and I was willing to take that chance rather than not doing this at all and just having her dead by the next morning. Egg binding is a very serious condition in female birds. This is a condition where your hen is unable to pass the egg. This is why it's so important to keep an eye on your birds. This female in particular, I noticed that with the pair actually, they had built the nest, but the female was not laying any eggs. She was showing signs of wanting to lay eggs, like for example, her wings were droopy, her tail was hunched, and this is something that females do when they are getting ready to lay. So I gave her one more day after noticing these signs and I checked the nest again the following morning, but still no eggs. And by that day, the female's condition was worse. At that point, she could barely fly and she was sitting on the floor of the aviary, barely moving. As soon as I saw her, I knew that she was egg bound. This condition where the female bird is unable to pass the egg is due to a variety of reasons like metabolic problems, problems in her reproductive tract, the egg itself being too big or positioned incorrectly in her oviduct and so on. So I knew that I had it act quickly or this hand could die. I removed her from the outdoor aviary, brought her inside and began to add a warm towel to her cloaca to try and help her dilate. After a few minutes of doing this, I would rub some olive oil around her vent as this would help the egg slide out and it would protect her skin from breaking, helping it stretch in order for her to lay the egg. This process went on for about 30 minutes where I would add heat to her vent, rub olive oil, and gently with my fingers, I would move the egg into a position where I can get it from her uterus up towards her vent. This is the part where you have to be extremely careful. As you use your fingers to move that egg up to her vent, you have to be very gentle not to break the egg inside of her. So take your time and be very patient. Add plenty of warm compress to help the female dilate and rub olive oil around her vent constantly to help keep that area lubricated as this will make it easier for her to pass the egg. This hen in particular had two eggs inside of her and one of them was broken. Since she was supposed to have started laying the day before and she couldn't pass that egg, it just stayed inside of her uterus and then the following day as the other egg was being formed and got passed down through her reproductive tract, it made it to her uterus where there wasn't enough room for both eggs so one of them broke. As you can imagine, this is not good. It complicates everything because now not only do you have to worry about getting one egg out, but you have a broken egg that also has to be taken out piece by piece. And you now have to give your bird antibiotics in order to avoid an infection. You want to make sure that you're able to get every single piece of broken eggshell out of this female. 
As you pull it out, be very gentle. Remember that these eggshells uh, could be sharp around the edges and it could hurt her. Make sure that you wipe the area down constantly. Continue to add warm compress if needed in order to get her vent to dilate even further, which is going to make it easier for these pieces to come out, including any other egg that might be inside of her. And continue to also add the olive oil around her vent to help it stretch and not break as it stretches and while you're getting this egg out. As you can see from this section of the video, I removed the majority of the eggshells that were broken inside of this female. And you can see in her abdomen is extremely swollen. That's because the second egg is right there behind. And now that one hasn't broken. It is completely uh, intact. And all I'm doing is slowly pressing on the back of that egg up towards her vent. And what this is doing is it's causing pressure around her vent area and it's making her dilate a little bit more slowly, little by little, and it's causing her contractions. Now these contractions will slowly build up to the point where she will be able to pass the egg as you push it upwards. I can't stress it enough. As you're doing this, be extremely gentle. And in the process, continue to add the olive oil around her vent. This female in particular seems to have an egg that is larger than normal and this may be the cause as to why she was unable to pass it. Now by adding the olive oil I'm helping her vent stretch slowly and not have that skin around her vent break. This will continue to help her dilate along with the warm compress and as you can see in a little bit here she is able to successfully pass that egg without any problems. Finally, after about 30 minutes of gently massaging the area and moving that egg upwards with my hand, adding warm compresses to her vent to help her dilate, and using the olive oil to make sure that she was able to pass the egg without breaking her skin, the female was able to lay her egg. Now you have no idea how relieved I felt because at least now, half of the problems were over. There's still a lot of stuff that we need to worry about. This hen is not out of the woods after she passes the egg because she's gone through a lot. This is something that has completely stressed this bird out and there's still a possibility that she could die because of the things that have happened. So it is very important to continue a variety of different steps that I will show you now to ensure that your female survives this process. Once you finish cleaning the female's vent and you make sure that the egg is completely out, that she has no other parts of broken eggs inside of her vent area, you can go ahead and put her inside of a hospital cage or a regular cage. Now there are a couple things that you want to make sure that you have inside of this cage. Two of the main things that you want to have obviously are going to be food for her and a heat source. Make sure that you offer food and water very low to the ground. This hen in particular was able to fly normal after I took the egg out of her, but in most cases with smaller wax bills, you're going to notice that they lose the ability to fly around for a bit, so they will just mainly hop around the cage floor. And it's going to help them, and it will make it easier for them if you offer a small dish of food and a small dish of water where they can get to without having to fly. The other important thing that you want to add to your cage is a heat source. After something as stressful as this, the bird is going to have a hard time regulating their body temperature. So they will need something to keep themselves warm. Otherwise, they can die from this condition. During this time, it is very important to increase your hen's protein diet. Try to offer her things that are not just seeds. For example, increase the amount of egg food that you give her. Also offer a source of calcium. Since she's been depleted based on the eggs that she's had to lay and the eggs that she's had to pass, you want to make sure that she increases her natural levels of calcium in her body. So forms of these that you can use your cuddle bone, grinded up eggshells, there's a variety of different forms, even going down to liquid calcium, which you can do a drop in the bird's beak. Now, it's very important that during this time, you try to leave the bird alone and not stress it as much as possible. 
Only go in the mornings and in the evenings to make sure that they have enough water and food and to make sure that they have their heat source still going. Other than that, leave the bird alone so it has enough rest time to recuperate. As you guys can see from this part of the video, the female has been making great progress. It's been about two weeks since I helped her pass the egg that was stuck and her body language is completely different. She's not fluffed up anymore. She's not seeking an external heat source. She's able to control her own body temperature. She's been increasing the amount of food that she eats and she overall seems to be looking better and feeling better. So I am very happy that I was able to help this female out and I hope that this video helps you guys understand the process of how this is done. Hopefully you never have to go through this scenario, but if you do have to go through the scenario, remember that you have to act quickly. I know that it's scary and I know that it may be hard for some of you guys to have to do something like this, but if you don't do this, if you don't have the ability to take your animal to the doctor, to the vet, to get help for it, the best thing that you can do is try to recreate these steps at home. If you don't do it, the bird will eventually die. The hen, if she's unable to pass the egg, there's no way for her to get better, and she will die from this. So hopefully these steps are helpful for you guys, and if you enjoyed the video, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe like always, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.